the working of differential and operational amplifier. Differential amplifier is a key to understand the pop amplifier. So let it is a differential amplifier. V1 and V2 are the two inputs. There are two input signals applied at here and at here. The differential amplifier will gives us an output V0. V0 proportional to the difference between the two inputs. Mean V0 proportional to V1 minus V2. Now replacing proportional sign by a constant let the constant is A and A is called the gain of A is called the gain of the differential amplifier like the gain A is equals to V0 divided by the difference between the two signals so this is the output voltage which appears at here because second terminal is grounded okay so this is the circuit diagram for you know differential amplifier we are having two transistors q1 and q2 this is a, a meter terminal of q1 base of q1 collector of q1 a meter of q2 base of q2 collector of q2 collector of q1 and collector of q2 they are attached together with rc1 Register and RC2 register. VCC supply is given to both the transistors Q1 and Q2. Okay, now that uh, emitter of this transistor is connected with the emitter of the second transistor, and uh, RE is the common emitter register to both the emitters of uh, the Q1 and Q2 together. R is the common emitter register for both transistors. A minus VEE supply is given at here at to this end. When minus VEV minus VEE is attached to Q1 and Q2. Okay. Now let the input signal. Let the input signal this one is applied at here to the base of Q1. So actually Q1 in this case it serves as common emitter as well as common collector configuration. You know how if the input signal is as the input signal is given to base and if the output is taken at here then this becomes common emitter configuration and when the output appears at here you know common emitter configuration there is a phase reversal like this is you know positive coin but output is negative coin this is called phase reversal this is negative coin and this one is the positive coin now the q1 serves as a common collector configuration also because if input is here output appears at here but when output appears at here with the emitter forward mean common collector configuration then whatever the signal the same will be the signal at here but slightly you know the down in amplitude so the same signal appears at here and is applied to the second transistor q2 you know actually this is N type K that is emitter and base is grounded and signal is applied this signal appears you know where at the emitter base is grounded then this becomes common base configuration because base is grounded and uh, signal appears at here you know common base configuration gives us the output same in phase as that uh, 
is here. Common base configuration gives us output in phase as that of the input signal. Okay, output and input remain in phase, but it is also somewhat it is amplified also. So whatever the shape it has positive going. So this is also positive going. This is negative going. This is also negative going. So you know down if the input signal is applied to the base of Q1, then at here and at here the output appears, but this output and this output there is a phase reversal of 180 degree V out 1 and V out 2 this 180 degree phase reversal. Let us consider the case number 2. Now, um, now the base of Q1 is grounded here and input signal is applied to the base of Q2. Now Q2 transistor act as common emitter as well as common collector configuration. Common emitter is like that. If the like here, if the output is taken at this end, then it act as common emitter configuration because input is applied to the base. And uh, if the output is taken at the uh, at the at the emitter terminal and uh, at the emitter, then it becomes the emitter follower mean. Com it act as a common collector configuration. It act as common collector. Now let this input signal is sorry. Now let uh, this input signal. This is the input signal which is applied at here. Okay, and uh, because if the output is taken at this end, then it act as the common emitter configuration and it gives a phase reversal. So here the output appears but uh, of opposite phase like this is positive going is the output is negative going. So it's a phase reversal. That's the negative going. This one is the positive going. Now on the other hand the the you know the signal which is appearing it here and uh, appearing it here then it act as a common collector and whatever the shape of the signal the same will the same shape will arrive at here will appear at here but slightly down in amplitude as it is now common collector it, it is now it is it act as now uh, is acting is as common collector so same type of signal but slightly down in amplitude now it is appearing at uh, the emitter, base is grounded, input signal is at the emitter, then it act as the it act as common base configuration. So this transistor is common base, base is common, input is the emitter. So output appears at here of the same shape as that of the input. Like the signal at here, the output exactly of the same shape no change and also amplified now here so ultimately was the conclusion at here and at here the signal appears this signal is uh, out this signal okay it is in phase with the input signal this signal which is at here it is opposite phase it is of opposite in phase with that of the input signal okay this is our case number two now the conclusion of the differential amplifier is like if the input is applied uh, to Q1 and uh, the base of Q2 is grounded and if the output is taken only at the, at the collector of Q2 then whatever the shape of the signal the same type of the signal will appear at the output but in an amplified form as this it is in phase with the input okay this type of input is called 
non-inverting input because the same type of signal will appear at the output but in amplified form. Remember, if the output is taken to the other to the second other channels, input is given to one and output is taken from the second transistor, from the other transistor, not of the same one. Now, but looking looking at here, if the input is signal to the base of this, and base of this is grounded, and output is taken uh, to this of the same transistor, output is taken at the collector of the same transistor, then the, there will be amplified output, but there will be a there will be a phase reversal because as positive coins and negative coin. So this is a phase reversal if the output is taken from the from the same transistor. If the output is taken from other transistor, there's in phase. So this type of input is called the inverting input because the output gets inverted. Okay. Now let's think think about if the input appears at the base of Q1 as well as the base of the Q2 then what will happen and uh, let the output is taken only at the collector of Q2 then because of this input out will be output will be in phase but because uh, because of this input output here will be the out of phase so here there will be the two signals because of this input it will be the in phase signal because of this input it will be the, you know, the out of phase signal. Two signals of opposite phase, they mix together at here. And then at the output will be proportional to the difference between the two signals. If the two signals are exactly same, equal, same phase, the output ideally ideally the output will become zero as the output is the difference between the two inputs input one and input two how it becomes the difference this input gives in phase this input gives opposite phase the end at here there will be two signals of opposite phase and becomes the difference of the two signals okay this becomes the then the differential amplifier for differential amplifier there should be two inputs at here as well as at here okay okay